Hello, scientists! Yes, you will be a scientist again as you will journey in understanding the concepts in conducting scientific investigation. But first, you have to determine the different components that you will be using in conducting scientific investigation. Let's have first an activity. Arrange the letters to form the correct words that deals with scientific investigation. Correct! It's experiment. You got it right. Conclusion. Yes, it's data. Later, we're going to discuss those terms. But first, let's have the meaning of scientific investigation or method. It is a method of procedure that has characterized natural science since the 17th century, consisting in systematic observation, measurement and experiment, and the formulation, testing, and modification of hypothesis. Six steps in scientific method. First one is P for problem, stating or identifying a problem. A problem can be identified after a thorough observation or relying on the existing data. In observing, we have to use our five senses to gain information. After observation comes a question, which is now your statement of the problem. A good scientist will ask lots of questions. D for data. Gathering of data in a form of research, interview, or existing data. H for hypothesis. Formulating hypothesis. It is a scientific or educated guess. E for experiment or testing the hypothesis. An experiment is a test that will prove or disprove the hypothesis. A good scientist will conduct an experiment more than once to double check their work. In testing, variables are of great importance. A variable is any item, factor, or condition that can be controlled or changed. C for conclusion, make a statement that accept or reject the hypothesis. The scientist will report his or her findings so that the others may know what they find out. A for application. Putting something in use or in operation based from the outcome of the experiment. To understand, you can use the acronym PDHECA. Problem, Data, Hypothesis, Experiment, Conclusion, and Application. Now, what is a variable? Variables are an important part of an eye tracking experiment. A variable is anything that can change or be changed. In other words, it is any factor that can be manipulated, controlled for, or measured in an experiment. There are three types of variables, independent, dependent, and controlled. Independent variable is a factor or condition that is intentionally changed by an investigator in an experiment. An independent variable is the cost. Its value is dependent of the other variables in the study. Next is the dependent variable. It is a factor or condition that might be affected as a result of that change. A dependent variable is the effect. Its value depends on the changes in the independent variable. A variable that is not changed is called a controlled variable. These factors are kept constant to determine any changes in the result. I have here a problem. Does red light affect plant growth? So the independent variable here is the light color. The plant on the left is exposed to natural light while the other one is exposed to red light. The dependent variable or the condition that might be affected as a result of the change in light color is the plant height. Will the plant on red light will grow taller or not? Water, soil, temperature, day and night time is our controlled variables or the factors that kept constant determine any changes in the result. Now, as you can see in the image, 
the plant with red light grows taller compared to the other plant. That's it! I hope you learned a lot from today's session. Thank you so much for tuning in.